Now keep in mind that spraying a truck bed can take a while, so we asked Jack to fill us in on some of the tips and techniques he uses with Armor Thing. A lot of places that the applicators will miss is the area up underneath the bed rail. And so that's why that's one of the first areas that, that we uh, show our dealers uh, how to spray or what to spray is to stand behind the truck bed and spray up underneath of that rail before stepping to the side and actually spraying the side panel. Uh, getting enough thickness around the edges. Uh, we, like, uh, we like to have a full quarter inch around the tailgate opening and around the edge of the tailgate. And usually on the average pickup truck, you'll spray the, the sidewalls uh, three to four coats on the floor, sometimes six to eight to get your mill thickness that you require. When you get the bed done, then you go back to the tailgate and you'll finish it up with your third and your fourth coat. For the most part, the plastic or rubber pieces in the front of the bed were a hole, an access hole to get it down the assembly line at the plant. There's never anything behind them. So we always ask the customer and or the dealer, do you want them sprayed over or do you want to take them out? We prefer to spray them over because they're made to slip over a piece of thin sheet metal. So when you put uh, 3 16 uh, coating on the bed, then the plugs never stay in, they never look right. And uh, so it's, it's best if they don't have a preference to spray them over. There's uh, what's called a texture coat. Uh, when you get done spraying a truck liner, you'll have shiny spots, uh, rough spots, not so rough spots. And the texture is what goes over it uh, from a distance of five to six feet. And it's kind of, you're sprinkling the droplets over. What you're gaining is two things. You're making it all look the same. And that's where you get your slip resistance. Uh, a bed liner with no texture will be slippery when wet, uh, won't uh, hold the cargo load very well. So based on uh, what the truck is gonna actually be used for, there's degrees of texture. You can texture it real severe or you can put a real fine texture on. So, and, and that, like I said, that's all done from six to eight feet. Uh, with the gun just uh, moving slowly back and forth over the bed. Now that we have the final finished product all done, look at how nice and smooth it is. It contours nice with the bed. It's gonna keep this truck bed looking beautiful no matter what you haul in your truck.